Hello and welcome to the Walt Spot. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Throne of Miscellanea quest. Alright. In order to start this quest, you must have completed the Heroes quest and the Fermentic Trials quest. Not only that, is a useful quest to complete for this is Fairy Tale 2 because it gives you access to the fairy rings. And there's a fairy ring right on Miscellanea that you can get to using the fairy ring code CIP. Alright, also before you start, you must realize that this is a members only quest. Um, the official difficulty is experienced, but the actual quest is as simple as 2 plus 2 equals 4. And the length is about 30 minutes. So now you're ready to start the quest, and here are some of the items you will need. You'll need an iron bar, a log of any kind, any tradable non-enchanted ring, some flowers, which can be bought during the quest on miscellanea right outside the castle, um, a cake if you're female, or any regular bow if you are a male character. Alright, so now you're on the island. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up, go up to the kingdom of Miscellanea and go to the second floor and talk to King Vargas. So after accepting this quest from King Vargas, he will tell you that he is unfit to serve as king due to his form and will ask you to be the regent for his kingdom. Uh, in order to complete this quest, or in order to start it, he will tell you that your job is to make peace with the queen on the other side of the island. Along with making peace with the queen on the other side of the island, you also must become part of his royal family by either being, being engaged to his son or his daughter, which is where the bow or the cake comes into place. So here is a big warning. From this point on, you must befriend the queen across from the island, become engaged, and get the approval of everyone else on the island. So, if you leave the island at any point after doing any of those, the progress will be automatically reset and you'll have to do it all over again when you come back to the island. So make sure you have everything that you need for the quest before going any further. Alright, so now that you've accepted the quest and everything is out of the way, you must talk to Advisor Grimm. He is in the red robe behind King Vargas, and you must talk to him and ask him how you are going to make peace with the Queen. Okay, so when you talk to Advisor Grimm, he will tell you to just go over and talk to the Queen on the other side of the island. Uh, at this point, make sure you have your running shoes, because Mom and Dad are going to have a fight, and you're the medium between them. With your orders, walk down the stairs and go across the island and talk to Queen Sigrid. Tell her that King Vargas wants to sign a peace treaty and ask her what she wants in return to sign this peace treaty. She will tell you that she wants her kingdom to be seen as a sovereign nation. Now with that information, go back and talk to King Vargas. Alright, now that you made it back to King Vargas, tell him the news. He will say, okay, I will see them as a sovereign nation on one condition. That one condition is that they have to change their anthem. With that news, go back over and talk to the queen. She will say, fine, but only if we write it. Alright, by this point you get the gist. Now with that news from the queen, run back over to King Vargas. But instead of talking to King Vargas, talk to his son, Prince Brand in the room to his left. When you get to Prince Brand, tell him that you need a new anthem for the Queen. He will gladly accept because he is trying to become a bard. The only downside is, is that he's a terrible bard. So with the terrible anthem that you get from Prince Brand, go over and talk to Advisor Grimm. Tell Advisor Grimm that the anthem is terrible and he will find some way to fix it for you. He'll write in a few words of his own. And then, with that, go back over to the queen and show it to her. Once you take the anthem back over to the queen that Advisor Grimm fixed, she will be very pleased, and she will hand you the treaty with her signature already on it. With that treaty, just go back over to King Vargas and talk to him so that he can sign it as well. 
Once you hand King Vargas a treaty, uh, he will gladly sign it, but there is only one problem, and that is his hands are too big for an ordinary pen. So at this point, go back outside the kingdom and go to the north shore where the mining area and the anvil is. On the north shore in the house by the mining area, there should be a guy named Derek. Tell him that you have a strange request and that you need a giant nib. In order to make that, he will request for one iron bar. With the giant nib, use the logs in your inventory and use it on it. If you don't have any logs, there are evergreens nearby that you can use to get logs if you forgot them. Using them together will create a giant pen. With this giant pen, just go back and talk to King Vargas. With the giant pen, King Vargas will sign the treaty, and now you have peace between the two kingdoms. But don't get too excited, because that is only one-third of the quest that is done. The second part requires you to either woo his son or daughter, depending on your gender, at the start of the quest. Since I have a male character, I will start with Queen Astrid, and then I'll go over to Prince Brand when I'm done. Alright, when you talk to Princess Astrid, tell her that you are planning to become the new regent. She will then tell you that she has many suitors, but she will give you a chance to impress her. At this point, it's just a little bit of small talk. You'll talk to her and she'll say something and you just have to agree with it, no matter what you honestly think on the inside. Once you reach a lull in your conversation, give her flowers. If you don't have flowers, there is a flower girl right outside the kingdom of miscellanea. You can get flowers from her for 15 coins. After handing her the flowers, just use the dance emote in her room. She will be impressed by your moves and she will have uh, more conversation with you. Now that you're talking with her again, respond only with agreeable answers. Once there is another lull in your conversation, hand her the bow. With the bow, it will spark another conversation. Talk to her again until she calls you dear. Once she calls you dear, use the blow kiss emote. After that, a few words will be exchanged again, and once she has nothing to say, hand her the ring and she will agree to marry you. Now I will go over how to engage with Prince Brand. I did not do this myself because I was a male character, but I will do my best to describe it. When you first talk to Prince Brand, he will ask you why you would want to become a regent, but eventually he will let you impress him as well. With the main conversation out, out of the way, talk to him a little and only respond with the most flattering answers. After flattering him enough, he will ask you if you would like to hear his poem. Answer with, of course, and then wait for him to recite his poem. Once his poem is done, respond with, be still my heart. And then follow it up with a clap or cheer emote. Then talk to him some more until only talking to him causes him to say hello. Once he only says hello to you, give him the flowers. Now keep the conversation going, respond only with flattering answers, and he will ask you if you want to hear his saga. Uh, you could say yes, no, whatever, but he's just going to launch into the saga and just keep responding with flattering answers. Once again, when he only says hello whenever you talk to him, hand him the cake. Also, here is another warning message. Just in case, make sure that you do not eat the cake. So it might be beneficial to bring one or two more cakes with you just in case you accidentally eat the cake, because otherwise you'll have to leave the island and it will completely reset your progress. After the cake, keep flattering the prince again, and then do the same thing as Princess Astrid and do the blow kiss emote and try and give him the ring. If he doesn't accept the ring, keep flattering him until he accepts the ring. Once Astrid or Brand has accepted the ring, go back to King Vargas and tell him that, there's, that his son or daughter has agreed to marry you. 
He will say, that is wonderful, but there is still one final task for you to complete. At this point so far, you do not have the approval rating of the kingdom. In order to gain approval, you must go around the kingdom and do various skilling tasks, such as either farming, mining, woodcutting, which is what I did, or fishing. This is a very AFK part of the quest, and you just need to get your approval rating up to 75%. Once your approval, approval rating is up to 75%, go back and talk to King Vargas. Once you go back to King Vargas, tell him that everything is done, and bam, you have completed the Throne of Miscellanea quest. By completing this quest, you will get one quest point, and you will unlock the Managing Miscellanea game. This is a very profitable reason why to do the quest, and I will be making a guide on how to efficiently manage the kingdom in a later video. With this all done, I'd like to say thank you for watching my first ever quest video, and to expect more videos like it. If you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see in the future, just leave them in the comments down below. And with winter break, I'm planning to make a ton of new content. So make sure you subscribe below so that you always get notified whenever I upload another video. Again, thanks for watching, and this is The Walt Spot. See you next time.